software is a very simple to use software. We'll discuss all the options one by one. First of all, on the dashboard, as you can see, it shows all your bank accounts which you have added in the organization. It can be a bank account, a loan account, it can be a credit card or a PayPal. To the right side, you can see a watch list, account watch list. You can simply enable the account on which you would like to keep a tab. Then it also shows your accounts payables and receivables. Now here, as you can't see the receivables, you can edit the dashboard. You can choose if you want to hide or show the account. Even you can move the panel if you would like to change the sequence of it and say changes. Then you have the options here under the display name like your change organization. You can change the organization simply switch between the accounts from here. Then you have uh, this file section. File section helps you to add the files directly to the zero as it's a cloud based software you can simply upload files here or take a photograph or even you can email your documents to zero if you would like to segregate or separate the accounts like you would like to keep the invoices or in the bills for their separate suppliers you can simply create those new accounts then we have settings. Now settings here are the journal settings which are very important like your organization details. It gives you the access to add users. You have your invoice, payment, email, payroll, all these settings under this. Now next we can see here under the business menu you have your sales overview which is the sales dashboard which shows your invoices, your quotations, and the draft invoices, and even the repeating tab of the invoices provided in your sales overview dashboard. Similarly, for the purchase overview, it gives you the access to the bills, the purchase orders, and the draft purchases. If your company's got expense claims, for the reimbursement, you can access expense claims and enter it here. And uh, product and services under the business tab means your inventory. Then you have accounting, which includes your bank accounts, which is similar to your dashboard because all the bank accounts which are showing up on the dashboard will be shown under your bank accounts. Then you have got reports. We have all these major reports here listed like your profit and loss, your balance sheet, payables and receivables, your past summary. However, if you would like to access more reports, you can go to the report section. You can see the financials, you can see the taxation, accounting, fixed assets, sale, purchase, inventory and payroll. And if you would like to add any report or remove any report you can use the star button and then we have advanced settings advanced settings includes your financial settings which is the most important thing for a bass you have chart of accounts you can edit and update the chart of accounts here your tax codes you have your fixed asset settings you have your manual journals and most importantly conversion balance under advanced settings if you mark any of the reports uh, under this it will show the star reports here then you have payroll payroll gives you the option to create add employees their timesheet their leaves and do parents you can simply do the parents timesheet and add employees from this tab or you can add employees here you can check you can update the data of your employees you can create their pay templates then you have pay employees under this you can process the parent you can add leaves 
you can reject leaves and even check the balance of all the employees how much leave balance do they have then you have time sheets which gives the data of all the hours entered from the employees superannuation allows you to create superannuation batch and pay the superannuation directly to the super house from zero itself and the stp allows you to make the payment and launch your payroll directly to ato the project allows you to track financial performance of different jobs in your business and track time invested on those jobs and the contact menu you can use all contact tab to access contact information of all the customers and suppliers and update or you can add contacts and the plus point is the contacts give you the information like their name contact people addresses then you can see here it's a shortcut key if you want to open a new invoice bill contact a coat or a purchase order and a manual journal directly you can even create a spend money and a receive money transaction directly from here rather than going under the main menu tabs then this is your notification tab here which gives you the notification from uh, zero or if any emails are sent to zero under your file section this will help you to contact zero support if there are any questions in regards to zero or the organization which you have created